Right, the top Democrat in the Senate says he is not letting lawmakers head home until there is a debt ceiling deal. So how is that sitting with his fellow Democrats and are the chances for an unprecedented default growing? For more, let's head back to uh, Capitol Hill where our chief Washington correspondent is standing by with the key player in the budget talks. Hi, Peter. Thanks very much, Carol. I'm joined now by the Senate Budget Committee Chairman Ken Conrad. The Democrat from North Dakota has been involved in these battles for a long time. Where do we stand right now? Are we headed for a default? No, I think we will not have a default. The question is, do we actually deal with the debt? And one would hope that we not only not default, that would be a catastrophe for this country. We'd see a spike in interest rates, markets would crater, we'd be in very deep economic trouble. But, you know, we also have a debt threat hanging over the country. We're borrowing 40 cents of every dollar that we spend. One would hope that we would actually, in conjunction with extending the debt, deal with the threat of the debt itself. You've raised some questions about this alternative being talked about, the McConnell plan, Senator McConnell's uh, proposal to allow the president to increase the debt ceiling. But with that, some are talking about adding some uh, spending cuts, perhaps $1.5 trillion, creating yet another deficit commission to deal with the long-term issue. This isn't satisfactory to you. It's been mainly Republicans criticizing it, but you've been critical as well. I have, because I think, uh, especially the McConnell plan as he initially put it out, is just an abdication of responsibility. You'll re recall his initial plan did absolutely nothing about the debt. Just kicked the debt can down the road, extended the debt limit, uh, and I just think that is so far uh, away from what we need to do. We are better than that. We're better than that as a country. We're better than that as a Congress, and we ought to show it. $1.5 trillion in spending cuts and a deficit commission, does that make it any more attractive to you? Yeah, it, something make, you can I mean, support? it makes it better, but it doesn't solve the problem. Every bipartisan commission that's met, as you know, Peter, has found that you have to have debt reduction of about $4 trillion over 10 years to change the trajectory that we're on. And we have got to change the trajectory that we're on because we're headed for a debt of more than 200% of our gross domestic product. So. That's unacceptable. It's unworkable. It can't be allowed to happen. Why not start now? Let's adopt a package that's comprehensive, that does reform the entitlements, reforms the tax system, cuts spending, and makes us all proud. Republicans say they've got an idea. It's going to be on the House floor tomorrow. Cut cap and balance. It's going to bring, bring about, they say, a balanced budget amendment that this is the solution. This is what Democrats should be supporting. Why isn't it reasonable for, to uh, consider it, that alternative? It's almost laughable. It's almost laughable. Instead of solving the problem, they want another formula to solve it somewhere down the road. Constitutional amendment would take years to get in place. Uh, why not actually make the spending and revenue decisions that are necessary to balance the budget instead of asking somebody else to do it? Have Republicans outgunned you guys, outnegotiated you all in this? At the end of the day, they're going to get spending cuts that they want and uh, a debt ceiling increase the president is going to be on the president's back. Uh, look, I, I don't frankly care much who's out negotiated who. What I do care about is the future of this country. And we all know there's not a serious person here that doesn't know that what is being discussed is not going to solve the problem. We have an opportunity to do something really big and important for the country. The president has said he's ready. Where are the Republicans? All right, Senator Kent Conrad, Chairman of the Budget Committee. Carol, the standoff continues here on Capitol Hill. The debt ceiling debate continues as well. Back to you. Peter Cook, thank you so much.